everyone, Jeff Backler here from CNET.com. We're at the GameSpot booth here at Comic-Con 2013, and our buddies at GameSpot have put together an unbelievable feat, the 3D cam. Here with me is Jen, who's the genius behind this inc incredible concoction. Jen, tell me exactly what's going on here and, and how does it work? So basically this is a process called photogrammetry. It is basically taking measurements off of two-dimensional images. So what we have here is an array of cameras. We've got 89 cameras up here. Wow. And it's basically just trying to get a shot from like every angle. And we can reconstruct that into a three-dimensional model of it. Cool. So you were telling me that they all have to fire at the same time. What, yeah. how, do you, how do you rig that together? Um, I, I rig it together by building this box over here. I made it so that all I have to do is push a button. Oh. All the cameras are wired together onto it. And so, yeah, basically everything is, everything is hardwired on it. Um, the flashes are a radio trigger to it. And basically, yeah, all of those have to go off at the same time. There's a lot of timing involved because like these flashes, I, you're talking about the light is on for only a millisecond. Right. So like when, when the um, cameras go off, Sometimes it's like just by nature of the cameras. They can be off by like a millisecond. Sure, sure. Even that is enough to it throw it off. It, yeah. So it's like it's got to be millisecond kind of accuracy. So you're you're faced with the challenge of getting them all to fire at the same time. What about the fact that we're in the middle of Comic Con and there's all this chaos around us? How do you deal with taking that into consideration? So the the strobes put out a lot of light. In all actuality, like. I, I could have it so that this background is pretty much dark with how much light these put out. Wow. Um, but I, I do get a bit of the um, light in here just to get a bit of separation because if it was just flat black in the background, then dark colors dark colors are hard enough to scan. If it's up against a black backdrop or anything, it's going to be even more difficult to scan. Right. So yeah, it's just trying to find the balance in there. So and, and you were telling me something really interesting about these patterns here that look like yeah. some computer vomited them out. How, how does that work? Exactly. Basically, this is something that I had our design team put together. It's um, basically just a bunch of non-repeating patterns. Right. And it's like they're all different colors. And so the idea is that basically any of the cameras, by seeing any of these patterns, yeah. they'll know exactly where they're looking at. It's like, you know, this one, it'll see, oh, here's the red one over here right. and the orange one. They'll, they'll, they'll be able to figure out spatially so where they spatial are. Because sort of basically when, when it's putting it together, it's like, it's got to figure out where all of the cameras were positioned right. so it can decide you know, what it's seeing from that angle. Cool. Now, once you get your 89 photographs, how do they get stitched together? How does that work? Um, that's uh, over, over in this room, we've got uh, a couple of graphics guys that are just processing it out on the computers. They've got, they've got stacks of computers for them to be working on because this right stuff, on. it takes a while for it to do all of the processing. And then when it's all said and done, the 89 images, how big is that like stack of, of images? What are we talking? Uh, just like, like the actual file, like the file yeah, yeah. I mean, it's like, there, it's, it's a bunch of JPEGs and stuff. Yeah. It's only like about 130 oh, megs or so. Just 130 megs. 100, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Make photo. That's, that's, not, yeah, that's, right, that's cool. not much. All right, so yeah, yeah. do you think what I'm wearing, I can? It'll so, work well with um, me. Right here, yeah. Basically, the patterns and stuff um, are definitely a bonus and everything for yeah. it. Um, the the dark colors can be a bit more difficult, but I think that with this patterning and everything, I, I think that we could probably get something pretty interesting out of it. All right, let's uh, let's let's try it out and see if we can make this work. All right, cool. All right, let's do it. Ready? All right, so it's been a few hours. The 89 photographs have been compiled into a 3D rendering of myself. So I have it here on my computer. Let's check it out. And look at that, I can anchor it anywhere I want. Whoa, that's pretty crazy. I didn't, you know, these are, uh, these are viewing angles that no one should really ever have of me. But nevertheless, it looks really cool. I'm, it's amazing how, uh, how seamless the, the transition from each angle is. I could zoom in and out. I can see angles on my body that I've never seen before. I'm not gonna lie, I thought I was a little fatter than that and this is very uh, uh, flattering, so I'm excited about that. So we wanna thank our buddies at GameSpot for hooking up the 3D photo. If you're here in San Diego, make sure you check out their booth for a chance to get your photo taken just like this and have a 3D rendering of yourself. From Comic-Con 2013, I'm Jeff Bacalar.